how would you add one half and one third? Okay, so yeah, uh, again, this is an application of LCM. So to add fractions, uh, uh, what we had to do is you have to make the denominators equal. Okay, so let me write that. You have to make the denominators equal. Denominators equal. So you've got two denominators. You've got two and three other denominators. So you have to make the, you have to find the least common multiple of two and three. So what's the LCM or the least common multiple of two and three? Well, that's easy. That's six. Okay, so 2 times 3 is 6, and 3 times 2 is 6. So this 1 half, 1 half is same as writing uh, 2, uh, 1 half, I want to write as 6. So 1 half is how many 6s? Well, that is 3 6. 1 half is same as 3 6. So basically what we have done is we have multiplied this by 3, so it also multiply this top number by 3, the numerator by 3. So 1 times 3 is 3, and 2 times 3 is 6. So if you take 1 third, I want to write 1 third as a 6. So I'm thinking 3 times what is 6? Well, 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 2 is 6. So if you multiply the denominator by 2, you have also to multiply the numerator by 2, so which is 2 6. So this is same as writing. In place of 1 half, we can write 3 6. So this is same as writing 3 6 plus 2 6, which is 5 6. So I want to explain this 5 6 uh, in a diagram. So let me draw. So this is a circle. These are two circles. OK. Now these are two circles. So. The question is one one half plus one third. So I'm not, now I'm dividing this into halves. So this is one two halves. So this is one half. When you whenever you have a fraction, you should be in a position to see this in a diagram. So this is one half, and this is one half. Now this circle, I'm going to divide into three parts. So I'm going to divide this into three parts. So this is one third, this is one third, and this is one third. So the question is, what is one half plus? So this is one half, this is one half, and this is one third. Oops, okay, I don't want this. So this is the question, one half plus one third. Now you can't add this, so let me draw two circles again, so this is circle, and again this is circle. And now I'm going to divide this into six, just to explain for those who find addition of fractions difficult. I'm going to divide this into six, and this also into sixes. And that's why we have to find the least common multiple. So this is, this much, I hope you can see, this, let me shade this, this much is how much? This is three out of the six equal parts. So this is three sixth. And three sixth, I hope you can see, is same as one half. Okay. And let me shade this with blue. This is how many parts of the six equal parts? Well, this is this is two two sixth. 2 out of the 6 equal parts. When you write 2 6, what are we saying is 2 out of the 6 equal parts. And that is same as 1 third. Okay, so this, so I hope you can see this. So let me drag this. Let me drag this and place it on top of this to show that they are equal. So, can you see they are equal? So this 2 Two, one third is same as two six, and this one half is same as three sixth. Okay, so this is. Can you see this is one half? I have placed as. So let me bring this back, and hopefully, uh, I have to. Yeah, no. 
Okay. Yeah, so this is one third. And let me bring this back. Okay, so this is, okay. So this is two sixths. So, and let me bring this back. Okay. So, and that's why one half plus one third is five sixths. Okay. So let me do a few more examples without drawing the circle. Now this is good when you have got uh, two numbers or easy fractions, but you can't do this every time. So let's take the next example. Uh, what is two thirds plus one quarter? Two thirds plus one quarter. So the first thing that you have to do is to find the least common multiple. So Least common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12. Okay, so 3 times 4 is 12 and 4 times 3 is 12. So, so I'm going to write 2 thirds. I want to write 2 thirds as 12s. So I'm, so 3 times what is 12? So well, 3 times 4 is 12. So you have to do the same thing to the numerator. So this is 8 twelfths. And you got one quarter, I want to write as something out of 12. So three times what is 12? So three times, four times three is 12. So you do the same thing to the top number. So now two thirds, this is two third, is same as saying eight twelfths. So this is equal to eight twelfths plus three twelfths which is 11 twelfths, 11 out of 12. Okay, let's do one more example, which is not going to end up with a neat number. So this is 3 fifth plus 3 quarters. Okay, now students start doing crazy things. When they see the top numbers, uh, they add the denominator. Okay, so basically there's only one rule when you're adding fractions, the denominators have to be equal. So the least common multiple here is 20. 5 times 4 is 20, so I'm writing same. So this is, I'm going to do this directly. This is out of 20 plus out of 20. So 3 fifth is how much out of 20? So well, that is 3 times 5 times 4 is 20, so you do the same thing to the top number. So this is 12 out of 20. And 4 times 5 is 20, 3 times 5 is 15. So this becomes this. So this is 17, 27 out of 20. Now this is not a proper fraction, so we want to write this as an improper fraction. So can I write this as 20 plus 7 out of 20? And I can distribute this like this. So this is 20 out of 20 plus 7 out of 20, which is 1 plus 7 out of 20. And so this is called a mixed number, which is 1 whole 7 out of 20. Okay. And finally, what is 5 sixth plus? one quarter. Now here the LCM is a bit tricky. It's not 24. LCM is 12 here. Because 6 times 2 is 12 and 4 times 3 is 12. So I'm going to change color now just for the sake of changing. So I want to write out of 12. Okay, so this is times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So this is 10 out of 12 plus 3 out of 12, which is 13 out of 12, which is 12 plus 1 out of 12, which is 12 out of 12 plus 1 out of 12, which is 1 plus 1 twelfths. So the final answer is 1 whole 1 twelfths.